Hi, my name is Francesca Giusti and um, I'm going to show you today um, Virabhadrasana 2, the warrior 2 position and how to move safely from Virabhadrasana 2 to reversed Virabhadrasana which can be a lovely opening, chest opening experience and you can incorporate these into your daily practice into a more dynamic, into a dynamic flow. Um, there are many elements that can be incorporated into different, pra different way of practicing. So um, we'll start with a nice wide stance. I like to start with, yeah, quite uh, wide feet. Um, different levels, if you're new to this, you may want to have your feet slightly closer, but um, it's important to cultivate already the foundations, which are extremely important, especially in standing poses, to protect knees and joints in the lower body. So the feet are really strongly gripping into the floor, the outer foot is strongly pressing the inner and outer heel and the ball of the big toe. Now we'll start with the arms already. So the shoulders, there is an element of softness in the shoulders. So see that you're ready, you're not clenching. And if you're finding that your arms getting, are getting tired throughout the practice, please have them onto the hips. That's perfectly fine at any stage. So with the arms out, we're going to start with the right foot, turn it out so the heel can press on the floor and we move into Virabhadrasana so we can bend the right knee. The back toes can actually turn slightly in as you do this. And as you can see, um, the right thigh will be parallel with the floor. Hopefully it will be parallel with the floor with practice. Um, the right knee will be in line with the ankle. And you can also add an element of strength by pressing onto the right heel strongly. So remember, you're anchoring with the back foot. So the back foot is what keeps, you, keeps your alignment. So Virabha Drasana 2, you can do with the pose with a version where the palms face up. The tailbone drops down and you want to add the element of the pubic bone moving in towards the sacrum. So this area gets kind of um, shorter, so there is no dropping of the organs forward. From this position, keeping all these elements, if you can, you want to start to drop your left arm down, the left hand down to the left leg, and gently start to raise up your right arm. You can follow the right hand with your gaze or you can gently gaze straight ahead. Sending the tailbone down and keeping the lumbar spine open, you want to keep the chest lifting, creating a sense of opening into the collarbones as you gently slide your hand down into your left leg, opening the heart, softening the gaze. You can take a couple of breaths here. Remember to connect with your feet and to your front knee. So the front knee stay bent. Move your heart up, try not to sink into the lumbar, and as you breathe in, come to the center. We're going to straighten up the front knee and bring the feet parallel in your own time, in your own way. If your, knees, if your ankles are a bit tired, okay, you can maybe bend the knees, change in sides. Remember to have your hands on your hips if you need to. Right toes in and left toes out. Bend your left knee into Virabhadrasana. Yeah, I find um, I, like to have, I like to slide my foot slightly more forward to have the correct alignment. So you can use your gaze, you can use the physical body, the physical gaze, okay, to really align your body. And as you connect with the back foot, you can start to lengthen and to send the tailbone down. At the same time, the pubic bone moves towards the navel as you stretch your left arm up. The back leg can be strong. Remember the element of lifting from the heart, keeping the collarbones nice and open. And as you breathe out, come to the center, connect with your both feet, and then straighten up your left knee your toes point forward and hands on the hips again. You can either walk your feet or jump them together if you're used to jumping. And um, there is a beautiful element of chest opening, of course, into Virabhadrasana, but the reverse Virabhadrasana 
it's kind of challenging because it may feel, uh, you know, in case of weaknesses on the lumbar spine, you need to be a bit careful. But it's a, a lovely way to stretch the side ribs and to keep the chest lifting. So I hope you enjoyed this and I um, hope you found it useful. Thank you very much. <laughs>